Okay, well, we had to stop what we were doing, and, well, we didn't have to, but uh, my buddy Nate's boy, uh, Caden, which, uh, if you, they have a YouTube channel, too, Caden Bruce, or, Caden Bruce, Bruce Farms Incorporated, they have a YouTube channel, anyways, um, he's having trouble getting spark for, in his, uh, Oliver 525 combine so they asked me to come on over and see if I could help them out they want to have it out for a little display for Caden's open house on his graduation he graduated this year so I want to have that as a display piece he's pretty proud of it so let's see what we can do okay well we're on top of this fine looking beast let's see what we can figure out here Definitely should have brought the light. Okay. Okay, well, while I'm waiting for a battery, there's no battery in there. <laughs> they're, they're giving me one. I'll uh, we'll back up a little bit on here and show you what's going on here. What is this, a M5531 or 5531 corn header on here. That's kind of cool. He's also got the, the grain table for this. It must be a 12, 13 feet. It's not very big, but yeah, Oliver 525 combine. Same as a 2890 Minneapolis Moline. Mm -hmm. Actually got, I was with him when he got that. That sheet metal so got the straw spinner <laughs> got stuff packed in here but she's the old girl is not in all that bad shape i was with him when he picked this up too so i think they got this and there's an oliver corn picker over here same time yeah this thing's in decent shape other than that <laughs> got a dual hub on there you want to put duels on is that what that is yeah i'm pretty sure <laughs> 73h i think the h stands for husker i remember right cool this thing is in really good shape it even has still still has some paint on the chains and inside here yeah I don't think it's spent very many days outside. Yep. Cool to see this thing working again. I think they actually they did use it last fall a little bit. Huh. Neat. Okay, well, found a battery. Let's see if we can get her tightened up. I'm gonna need you in here, Jake. Yep. Run the key. All right. Can you, you got a light? Look at that coil, just make sure. What side is the, the ground to the distributor go to? I'm, I'm guessing it's negative ground the way I got it hooked up because it didn't get any sparks. Or the battery's dead. Okay. I don't know if I'm thinking that was magnetic. It's also loose. Huh? It's also loose. Okay, that's all right. At the minute, it's all right. Okay, loosen this one up. Get it on. Yeah, that right. Oh, I saw. There's a screwdriver in that box you're standing on. You grab it. What? Big flat.
All right, I need to be up there. Back on the down there. It's outside. All right. So, see where the key is? Don't touch anything else. It's already in neutral. I'll tell you what. I'm going to turn the key on. <laughs> You brought my ignition set to you, said? Yeah, it's still in the truck. Well, that's not a good spot. Okay. All right. All right, don't do anything yet. All right. All right, turn the key on. Just just to the on position. Be left. Should be able to turn to the right. I don't want to turn it. Oh, oh. I don't want to turn it right. Okay. Stay there. Unless it was already up. Got any power? Oh, these batteries. Got them. Okay. Did Katie get you one? Yeah. Okay. The third one had right close down. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm, oh, that ain't good either. All right. Does that help our situation? No. Power somewhere, boy. All right, just want to test my test light here. I got the camera on, so yeah. Just so you know. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm trying to. I want to test my test light here. I need to find a spot where I know there's power. Okay. Yeah, I got the light here. All right, we got power there. Okay. On the, to the starter, which we know that it'll, it'll turn over, but you don't. With the key on, you should have power going to there. So, wires, 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 wires. Okay. Jacob, you got that little flashlight? Because <clears throat> that's a white wire or yellow wire It's on the ground, it's okay. Everything's still hooked up, right? Yeah. Okay, well, don't do that again. All right, let me double check. I got power over here. Oh. <laughs> My light. Did you knock that down? Everything else now wants to fall. spot to put you that's for sure but I'm trying okay so this white wire here is my coil wire and it's got a big old splice in it here okay 
So we'll see if we got power down here by chance. No. Okay. That's a big negative. Okay. None of these wires look all that good. You got nicks out of them, but okay. Oh, I don't have power there. I'm not, probably not going to have power here. Because I think it comes from that way. All right, I got to come in there. Okay, well, we're going into the front. Okay. Well, we got to get to the ignition switch here. Give me a flat screwdriver again, I think. Okay. Access panel. This one? No, this one. That one there. Alright. Alright, give me that test early. Test light. about to set this stuff. Okay. okay. I have power here by chance. Or here. Okay, I have power there. Alright, uh, put the key back in. to the on position it should be one click right yes no maybe click. well you know one position it's as far right as it goes okay So that's power off. Should I still have? Okay. All right. So this should turn the power on. Go ahead, turn it. Is it turned? Yeah. 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 Okay. I don't have any power. All right. So that switch is bad. That's just a two position switch. Okay. off. Alright. Uh. Okay, we're gonna start 
this thing up. All right, I'll go see if it's the gas. Is this gas turned on, do you know? Maybe. We've never shut it off. Okay. Fine. I, I think your ignition switch is bad. Oh, really? Yeah. I have another one. It's just a two position switch is all there. One click. It's either on or off. There you go. Yeah. Well, if he's going to look for one, we'll so take this. Yes. All right, I need my pliers. Is there a pair of pliers? You can turn it off. You know what I mean? Like a, like a nut. There we go. Keep going. You know, I gotta, I'm trying to hold on the nut in the back, but which I think I am, so I'll keep turning. It's going. Alright, just hold still. Hold it still. Okay. Hold that hold on there. Okay. Yeah, it'll work. Is that just welded to it or what is that? No. Well, it's like it's a almost a rivet style thing, like it's goes through. All right, there. It's like this. Yeah, that, that'll work. Yeah. I think. All right, so we gotta get them off there. Either that screwdriver them off, or, or or just put new terminals on there. You got terminals that fit that? Hmm? Yeah. Grab a couple of those. I got cutters here and crimper. Then riveted on? Uh, riveted it or like. welded. Huh. So. Okay, well, we're going to change the switch. I'll bring you back. Okay. All right. No power yet. Jake, turn the switch on. Ha ha. Now we got power to coil, boys and girls. Okay. We're getting close. We're getting close. This wire not back on. Yeah, I got I got power to coil now. He didn't have power to power to coil before. Oh. Yeah, I knew he didn't have power. I just figured it out. All right, Jake, pull the choke out too. You got the switch on? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Tester, do you? Stop, stop, baby. Spark tester? Yep. You don't have the switch on, Jake, or did you just, just turn it off? I never turned the switch off. Well, turn it back on. Oh, hold on. I don't have it. I, don't have it. I didn't have it hooked up to a good ground. It should be off right now. Off, turn it on. Sure? Should be on. Well, we'll go to the other position. That's the other one. I don't have any spark now. I don't know what you did. 
And the wires hooked up? Both of them? They didn't pull out? Yeah, they're still on there. Hold on, I don't have good ground here. Something. Alright, I do now. Alright, turn switch on. Alright, I got power. Okay. I didn't have, didn't have a good ground. What's up, Bobby? How's it going? Mm. Always something. Yeah, go ahead, Jake. With the switch on. Stop. Okay, we don't have to. Yeah. First, you didn't have power to the coil. Huh. So your switch was bad, so we changed, put a different switch in. All right. Jake, what'd you do? The, oh, uh, follow the points, I guess. I think it was like probably last year. The little circular thing that's down in the, uh, down in there. I don't remember what that was called. Condenser. Condenser. I put a different one in. I don't know if I didn't do a good enough job or okay. something ain't right there. That might be. Not exactly the uh, easiest engine to work on. Oh. Well, that one thing, your condenser wasn't hooked up. Pliers in there. Um, My red ones. Fired. Open that window so you can hear me. Okay, well, we're going to cut the video here. Uh, I'm glad we got that combine running again so Caden can have that for display. Uh, that'll, that'll be neat, you know, having his, his little Oliver collection, you know, over there for people to see. We did something similar for Jake's open house. I had a bunch of the Molines out and um, seemed like the... Oh, the old the old boys really enjoyed seeing seeing tractors. You know the old because you know we're in a you know huge farming community around here, so a lot of people can relate to the old tractors. So hey, I appreciate everybody watching, and uh, hey, we'll see you in the next one.